Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me for this next adventure of uh, Will It Run? Today we're looking at a 21 inch cut Yard Machines push mower, Briggs and Stratton. Yeah, whatever that is. It's like 150 cc, just you know, your regular push mower. I believe it is MTD brand. Yep, MTD. I don't know what that little string is. Uh, got this for very cheap. They said that they replaced the gas tank carburetor setup. They said it just had some like general run issues. Um, when they replaced all that, they said it still didn't run properly. So I don't know anything about it other than that. I'm gonna, you know, take that at face value. We'll run through the basic diagnostic steps of does it have spark? Does it fire over, clean the fuel, see what the fuel looks like, whatever. Let's check the oil. So let's do this first. Let's just see what this oil, I don't know if this has a dipstick. Oh, it does. Let me see, the oil actually looks pretty good. It's full too, or there's a decent amount in there. Let's see what this, I don't know if they replaced the air filter or not. We'll check to see. Oh wow, the air filter looks really good. Very good. Oh, it looks like somebody was, looks like somebody was tinkering with that governor spring. Yeah, I think it's loose. Anyways, we'll see what's going on there. Let's check in here. The fuel actually smells terrible. Really bad. It's got that like cinnamon smell. I, think, I don't think that's supposed to be loose. Yeah, it looks like they were just messing with this. It seems to be working. All right, let's just do let's do the first things first. Let's check for spark, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, you know the drill. A little orange flicker. All right, we got spark. spark plug that's always good so I, I don't have a I don't have any suspicions leading me to believe that this is not gonna fire over however the gas in there reeks all right I suspect a fire but uh, let's just Make sure you never know. Hmm. Let's cut into this tank, gas tank, and those are different size bolts. Ooh, where are you going? Why do they do that? Why why is it a different size bolt? If somebody has a reasonable explanation, please comment. I have always wondered that. There might be a reason. Seems weird to me. But this one's a 3 8 and there's a bolt back there that is a half inch. fuel is toast. Um, why is that? That is so strange. All right, let's take that off. All right, I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna get this off the bench. Okay, so the gas tank is full. The gas does not smell good. I'm gonna dump it out. I'm gonna, I guess it's kind of an orange, orangey. Definitely an orange. <laughs> All 
and that would be a that's just extremely corroded down there it's like a it's like a red wine just very very old that is nigged let's get this carburetor off of there So up here actually doesn't look too bad. This is the this is the top, and I don't think the fuel level was all the way up, but there's a there's a little portion down here. Let's see if you can see that discoloration near the bottom. It just kind of started to eat away at that plastic, and then you can see on top of that um, top of that stick right there. There's a some more corrosion. This uh, I don't know if this is going to come back. I don't know if it's going to make it. I wish I could show you inside of there. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. It's like metallic shards coming off of it or something. I'm not going to give this any hope whatsoever. Here, let's just see. I'm just going to try to scrape the bottom and see see if it gets knocked loose. Actually, it's very. Oh gosh, I wish I could show you in there. It's actually coming off. Um, let me see if I can get a good shot in there. Okay, so that's what it looked like. That's the little bit of scrubbing that I did, that lighter part that you can see right there. So I actually, I don't know how to get everything in there. I don't have a parts washer or anything else like that. Um, I'm just gonna start scraping. A few moments later. Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just too much. Um, yeah. All right. Luckily, I have something right there that I think that is the exact same setup. I don't know the condition of that one, but let's pull that one out and let's see what that one looks like. And we can, you know, maybe swap that over and so we can use that. There's also an extra little carb setup. So let me pull that out and uh, we'll take a look at that one. All right. That one actually does not look, let's see. That one looks better. It's not good. The gas is a little dark, but it is definitely a million times better than that one. I think that little spring is gonna do us well too. Let me take this one off. We'll see what we're see what we're working with. That is a different size. No way. So it's a three eighths on the other one on this one. It's a seven sixteenths. You know what? I'm gonna get that air filter out first. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I think that's supposed to be a yellow. Well, we'll find out what color that's supposed to be. So that spring doesn't appear to be doing too well either. I don't know what's going on with it, but let's get it out of the way. Yeah, it appears to be the same. That's interesting. So that's a three eighths. That's weird. This is weird. Briggs, you're weird. Somebody's weird. So that's strange. The threads appear the same, but the size of the bolt obviously is much different. That is, that is bizarro. Weird, weird, weird. I'm gonna use this extra one that I had on this tank that came off of here. So this one's gonna to be toast. And then the one that came off the mower, I'm just gonna to put to the side as well. And we'll see what that brings us. Let me get this big guy down off the bench. All right, clean white cup. There obviously will be good fuel in this. I just wanna see if there's any, you know, particles or any big pieces that come out of it. Mm-hmm. 
There's a couple. All right, so I whipped that out pretty well. A couple of teeny little things left in there. And uh, we'll see if round two gives us any goodies. Yeah, a little bit. Gas obviously looks a lot better. I'll feel comfortable with one more. All right, pretty good. Still a couple of teeny little particles left in there, but nothing I am extremely worried about. All right, I would prefer carb, carb cleaner for this. I don't have any carb clean, so brake clean is just gonna have to be our next best option. I just wanna try to blast a lot of that, uh, that crap out of there. So just, um, you know, should do the trick. Just one more. One last little attention to detail, just a little cotton swab. We'll just get whatever else we can out of there. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, let's get this guy loaded back on there. Okay, have to make a quick game plan change. This linkage does not fit into that hole. So that tells me, yeah, if you can see, that hole right there is bigger than that hole right there. So unfortunately we're gonna have to use this. I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit on the bottom and uh, it feels okay. Yeah, should be all right. All right, let me flip flop those and we'll uh, get back to it. Okay, so I got that on there. Obviously that does not look as good, but it should function a lot better. If it has, you know, run issues, I, I don't know if you remember that spring was all kind of funky. That's gonna be my first suspect. So I'm gonna get some gas in it, prime it a few times, open up the garage. Let's fire this thing up and see how it sounds. Obviously something up with that What's going on in that carburetor? So I have an idea. I smell some of that old gas So what I may have done is just agitated it a little bit, but I have an idea So this was the original one that I was going to replace with it because I know that one's clean This one obviously is not we just verified that half of that primer bulb this half feels really stiff. This half is like super kind of gooey, really weird. So this hole is bigger than that hole in the throttle cable or in the in the throttle, you know, portion. So I will take a drill bit, very delicately open up that one as big as this one is. I just got to find out what size it is first and then go from there. So I'm going to take this drill bit and we'll try to open that one up a little bit. to put too much pressure on it. Here, let's... That felt really good. I'm gonna go test that to make sure it fits. So that is still just a hair small. So I will go up to the next size. All right, that also felt really good. Let me go test that one out and see if that, that one's the winner. Okay, we got a winner. That one seems to fit, and it seems to fit just fine. We'll get that one bolted down, and we'll see how that does.
Cool guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I'm glad we're able to get that taken care of. I'm gonna take it outside. I'll wash it, show you the end result. I'm not gonna change the oil. The oil looks pretty good and it's pretty full. I will sharpen the blade and then, uh, you know, we'll get some of that off. We'll cut that, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what this is or why it's on there. All right, so anyways, I'll get it cleaned up and uh, I'll bring it back, kind of show you the end result and the outro. Okay, so it looks a little better. The last thing I have to do is just sharpen the blade. I, while I was cleaning it off, did notice that there is some cake in there. So I'm gonna do the best I can to get that off. The spark plug boot is off. bit better just a little bit all right so now the last and the main thing will be this blade here it looks terrible probably no good that's all we got so we're gonna do the best we can okay so that looks a little better just a little bit the blade probably needs to be just replaced this side doesn't look too bad it's that side that's that's the one so the next uh, potential buyer I will just let them know you probably got one more season out of the blade depending on what you're cutting and how much you're cutting it so let me get that put back on there and we will be done all right guys cool thanks for joining really appreciate you watching follow me on social if you'd like Facebook Instagram snapchat Twitter whatever uh, whatever you're on appreciate you just hanging out and just tinkering with this kind of stuff like the video if you liked it let me know if you have any questions in the comments again Again, appreciate you so much for joining. Couldn't thank you anymore. Have a great day, guys. Peace. I always hate the beginning. <clears throat> hey, what's up, guys?